Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Twisted Wave to create a recording and save it in your Google Drive account. So you can use Twisted Wave in your web browser. You can also install it for Mac or for your iPad. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I am not signed in, so my recording is going to be limited to 30 seconds. If you sign in, you can create longer recordings. Now to create my recording, I'll click New Document. It's going to open up this new window for me. And now let's go ahead and hit the record button and allow Twisted Wave to use my microphone. And now I'm recording. I'm just doing a sample recording. You can see the meter fluctuates as my voice fluctuates. The more I speak, uh, the more my voice fluctuates. And you can see all of that. And let's stop the recording. And you can see my 14 second recording. We can go ahead and scroll back to the beginning if we like. And I'm going to click and delete a little bit of the beginning here. And you can see here that I get this little warning that your file has more than two channels. And that's fine. For most of our purposes, that's all we're going to need. So I'm just going to cancel that. I'm not going to purchase the option to add more channels. I'm going to go ahead and highlight and delete again. And if I want to clip out, let's say, some dead air, so I have some dead air here. I'll highlight and clip that out. Now we also have options up here for various effects. If you want to insert some silence, um, change your pitch and speed, you can do all of that. Uh, you can create some playback loops if you want to. You can insert markers into the recording. So if you have a longer recording, you need to keep track of where you've said something or where you've played a note. Markers will be handy there. I'm going to go here to File, and I'm going to say Send to Google Drive. And let's go ahead and give this a title. Let's call it Sample Recording on Twisted Wave. And I'll now have to authorize Twisted Wave to use my Google Drive account. I'll say Accept. And you can see the file is now being sent to my Google Drive account, where I'll be able to open it up and play it back and work with it from there. So that's Twisted Wave in a nutshell. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.